propositional reduction is is inadequate, insufficient, and it's groping for the closest thing at hand. And the closest thing at hand is what technology makes salient to it, which, which is power. It, it, we have to go deeper. We have to say, no, no, there's a place for that. And your situational awareness, the states of consciousness you get access to, ultimately depend on your character. Well, that's that's a lot to swallow. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to scuttle back to my power claim. I didn't mean to dump so much. No, upon. no. Well, no, 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 not, not at all. And that the question isn't sophisticated enough, you know. Yes. And so I phrased it as an adversarial hypothesis, as a satanic hypothesis, essentially. The West is possessed by this satanic demand for power, and that's its characteristic spirit. And I don't believe that. That is a contamination which occurs repeatedly. Characters in that drama who are motivated primarily by philia, so philia Nikea. But you see philia Sophia merge between them. One leads to the other. And, and, and that, that seems to be related to your wrestling argument in some sense, and maybe to mine. Please. First of all, I want to know what you think of my sideshow of a much deeper problem, John. It's not easy for me to process, but... No, that's fair. And, yeah, well, so I'm having some trouble with that, but can, do you, is it okay if we deal with that and then, and then move on? Sure. I mean, I, uh, the earlier Foucault, maybe even the middle Foucault, sees a deep interpenetration between power and knowledge. The relevance of, of a proposition can't be captured within the syntax or semantics of the proposition. I mean, that's that's the main thing that Derrida is on about. So that's I a think... consequence of what we're bringing to the table, because the relevance is the interpenetration of the semantic and the and the syntactic well, with and the unique. The I always have to convey way more than I can say because I have to rely on you. Character traits at, are at the bottom of this. Right. If you go, go ahead, man, right. that's honesty driven by love. Right. But I don't think and so if I them. trust you, that's what I trust. So my sense of that, my sense, just yeah. I want to go back to something. Yeah. I asked you to define love and I'm going to define it on my terms now. Please. And that is the best in me serving the best in you. And I think that's the deepest pleasure. That's the deepest and most lasting pleasure. And it is the most fundamental, fundamental motivation. It's the inexhaustible source because and that's the animating spirit of mankind. And that's a way different claim than the one the atheists are going after, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> think I, about I, it, everyone. <laughs> is, truth, is truth in the service of love not the best animating spirit of mankind when it isn't pursuing an aberration? We can all ask ourselves that question. I think that's a, a, a good question to ask. Uh, I think, <laughs> Thank well, you, John. No, what I mean is I think it, it re... I think it reorients us to the We can fact. put that on a t-shirt. Is, <laughs> is truth in the service of love a good question? <laughs> I, I guess I, I see them as more, I, uh, I see them as more interpenetrating. I, I want to make a stronger relationship between them than just a relationship of service. Um, I mean, this How is- How about her, man?